Why is there a memorial to a Native American chief outside this London cathedral? The memorial belongs to Mohegan chief Mohamed Wayonamon, but our story begins with his grandfather. It's the 17th century, and with settlers rapidly encroaching upon his people's land, he decided to travel to London to ask Queen Anne for it to be returned. And, perhaps surprisingly, his request was granted. So, there it is, our story ends with a swift resolution. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, that's right. As it turns out, the colony of Connecticut decided to ignore the Queen's ruling and continue to steal more land. Fast forward to the 18th century, and Mohammed is now the sachem of the Mohegan tribe when he decides to follow in his grandfather's footsteps and travel to London to petition King George II for justice for his tribe. But not long after he arrived, tragedy struck. Wayonamon fell victim to smallpox and passed away before his case could be heard. He was laid to rest in an unmarked grave outside Southwark Cathedral in a burial that didn't follow his tribe's traditions. After that, his story faded into obscurity until 2006 when a modern memorial, crafted by British artist Peter Randall Page and dedicated by Queen Elizabeth II, was unveiled, and a traditional funeral ceremony was performed by members of the Mohegan tribe, giving Wayonamon the final send-off he'd been denied for so long. 